So I have a, a 25 mil roller here. Uh, and this is uh, uh, going to soak up a whole lot of glue water. So this is just a 50% carpenter's glue, white glue, whatever, uh, water mixture. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to work my way around the perimeter. It's not the cleanest thing in the world. And all I'm doing is the perimeter on the back because the glue is what's going to hold this fabric in place. Now I have these sticks here. They're just uh, inch and a half by inch and a half or two by twos. And I have um, dance floor tape, which is uh, in this case, a clear dance floor tape. And it's thicker than packing tape, but it, packing tape will be great too. Um, and so what I do is I'm gonna put this underneath the keystones or the corner blocks. I don't want this right on there and I'm doing this one handed. So and the tape keeps it from sticking. I'm just going to put one underneath the center just so when I'm pushing on it, it doesn't move. I'm going to work my way around the perimeter and do the face. You can see how loose the fabric is. But I want to make sure I get a good coat on everything. So I can lift it up a bit to get the center of the roller, which has more glue mixture than the perimeter. You can see it's already tightening up. All I'm doing now is working my way around. Like, I don't know if you can see this yet, but this is starting to tighten up really well. The perimeter 
is tight to the one by three where before it was a little billowy. Um, I don't know about anybody else doing this, but there's always a moment while I'm doing this where I'm like, well, maybe this canvas has already been washed and it's not gonna tighten up. If you use fabric that has been washed, it's like a, a pre-washed jeans. If you don't have, if not pre-washed, the first time you wash them, they're gonna shrink. It's the exact same with this. So this is unused muslin or, uh, yeah, so unused muslin. And um, once it gets its first finish on it, whether it's uh, paint or the sizing, it will tighten up. Um, uh, I've never done a comparison between a primer coat and sizing. I've always just uh, done the sizing. I've been told, yep, sizing will do it more quickly. There's probably a whole bunch of people who skip the sizing and go right to a primer coat. So it is, I don't want to mess with it too much, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up and I'm looking down here and this is dead flat. There's no sag in it whatsoever but I also don't want to mess with it. It's going to tighten up. It'll, it'll uh, get rid of any of the, there's a few wrinkles just left in there. This is already uh, dead flat and I'm not going to poke it from the back to test it. I can see it's already tightening. What has happened and I've, I, I, it was me or was it someone else? It was, I don't know, it's like 15 years ago. It was the poking on the back just to feel the tightness. And then there was, a, it, it had, shrunk as much as it was going to do but it stretched out a bit so there was always a little looseness right there so i become very cautious and i can't remember it was one of us at the shop who did it uh, uh, i don't mess with this i don't push on the back i don't go hey feel the tightness of it because it'll always leave a bit of a a billow there so the only thing to do with this is uh stand it up or uh let it sit there for a couple hours and Tighten up and harden and dry. Okay. I'm not going to use this right away. Um, I built this out of order uh, just for when Sherwood was available and how far I got in the process. Um, I still have to build all the other frames, but I don't want to go to the trouble of washing this uh, and, and between then. So what I, I do is I just grab a, a shopping bag, a plastic shopping bag. And that will keep the oxygen out of it. And this is like, this is heavy. It's full of water and glue. It'll keep the oxygen out of it. So it acts just like a glue bottle. So the glue won't harden and I can put it there. Some people freeze this stuff. And uh, I've actually found if I've forgotten them in the freezer, um, which I'll, I will do, um, uh, they dehydrate over time and it just trashes it anyway. So if I'm leaving it for more than like a day, I will wash it. But if I'm doing it almost right away, then I won't wash it. I'll just put it in the bag. But uh, yeah, I occasionally will freeze if it's a couple days, but most of the time I forget it's there. So what you can see here, I don't know if you can see, there's a shadow line a bit here and a shadow line here. That's not a wrinkle. Just the same as here. These are not wrinkles. That's a little bit of dust from the bench. When I, uh, when I moved it around, that's what was actually rubbing against the bench. So it picked up the tiny bit of dust that was left over. If this were a, a, a duvetine or a commando cloth, some kind of fabric that I had to tighten by hand and not paint, I would have covered my bench in soft plastic, thin soft plastic. And then I would have laid the fabric down. Then I would have put the frame on it. Then I would have tightened it up trimmed it, cleaned it all up, and then I would have wrapped the, fat, the plastic around the flat when it was done and transport the flat in the plastic. Because this is just a sizing, there's gonna be a prime coat and paint on top of this. I wasn't worried about a little bit of dust, but it, yes, bad, bad scene at Carpenter James. If, I'm, if I lift this up though, ignoring these shadow lines, you can see, sure would maybe let me know when I'm at a good height and the angle. Yeah, you can look right down the face of that and see how tight it is. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make, take it off my bench. I have a couple more of these guys here on the ground with the, the dance floor tape up. And um, uh, I'm going to set it on that and lean it against, uh, lean it against uh, the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, 
the door, the big plastic rolling door, the, what do you call it? Garage doors. Good gravy. Uh, the garage door. And it won't stick to the garage door because uh, it's plastic and it won't stick to the dance floor tape, but it'll dry there nicely. And uh, tomorrow uh, it'll go there. The thing about these is I need a place all the way around my shop for each one of them to dry against. So, eh. The other thing I wanted to point out is you can see that the keystone's on the back. And if I were on the front and I bent the rail down, the rail seam would open up. But the wood, the, the joints, the joint is hitting itself. It won't actually go any further. And then with the fabric tightening it, it works against the, the corner block and the keystone. And it actually creates quite a strong joint where the fabric is keeping it in tension. And so is the, um, so is the corner block or the keystone. So the frame actually sits very square. As long as you've got your joints close, uh, tight together and the, the, the wood is cut on a 90 degree angle, everything will hold and everything will stay nice and flat.